Before he was an NHL scoring star and perennial MVP candidate, Edmonton Oilers captain Connor McDavid was an electrifying junior player that received exceptional status with the Erie Otters of the Ontario Hockey League. Connor McDavid was born on January 13, 1997 in the Toronto suburb of Richmond Hill, Ontario. He took to the ice at an early age and quickly demonstrated the skill that would soon attract attention from the media and scouts alike. From his first season, McDavid played with players a year or more older than he was. McDavid helped the York Simcoe Express to four provincial minor hockey championships under the guidance of his father, Brian. In 2001, McDavid joined the Story Toronto Marlies program and led them to the GTHL Championship, scoring the championship winning goal with 21 seconds left in the deciding game. In the 2012 OHL Cup, McDavid paced all tournament scorers with a record 11 goals and 19 points in seven games and won the Tim Adams Memorial Trophy as MVP of the annual showcase tournament. Within days of the tournament, McDavid was granted exceptional player status by Hockey Canada and immediately became the top rated prospect for the 2012 OHL priority selection. That was a great experience. Um, you know, I, had a, I had a very good team with uh, you know, the Toronto Marlies and um, we were able to make a pretty good run at it and uh, you know, go to the, the finals where we beaten the where we, we were. We were uh, beaten by the, the Rebels, um, you know, kind of a team that we had a pretty good rivalry with. And, um, you know, it was actually an overtime game. So um, that was a great experience and, um, you know, obviously not the way we wanted it to end, but um, it was a lot of fun. McDavid followed John Tavares in 2005 and Aaron Ekblad in 2011 as an exceptional status players for the OHL draft. The Erie Otters held the top pick after finishing last in the OHL the previous season. Otters GM Sherry Basson was thrilled to select McDavid and looked forward to welcoming him south of the border in Pennsylvania. He has such exceptional ability and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity for a franchise. The hockey world thinks he's exceptional because of the ability he has displayed. We know he's exceptional because of his ability and high character. It's a credit to his parents, Brian and Kelly, that they have raised a son with such exceptional character. McDavid jumped into his first OHL season head first, picking up his first goal in a second game with the Otters. It was the start of a 15-game point streak for the Otters rookie. He was named the league's top rookie in October and again in November. McDavid finished his first OHL campaign with 25 goals. He also surpassed Tim Connolly's rookie team records with 41 assists and 66 points in 63 games. McDavid claimed the M's Family Award as the OHL's Rookie of the Year. Along the way, McDavid became the youngest player in league history to play in the Subway Super Series against Team Russia. McDavid also represented Ontario at the World Under-17 Challenge. Despite McDavid scoring nine points in five games and being named to the tournament all-star team, Ontario finished sixth in the tournament. Despite his young age, McDavid easily proved that Hockey Canada and the Ontario Hockey League made the right decision in granting him exceptional status for the OHL draft. I think the OHL is the best for that. I mean, um, you know, you really have to kind of find your way. Um, you know, I left home at 15 and, you know, most guys leave home at 16 and it's uh, a little bit different. I mean, not, not too many people can say they leave home at that age and, um, and you kind of just got to find your way. You got to learn how to you know, live by yourself and, you know, take care of yourself and all that. And um, you know, it's, it's an interesting process and um, it's been a fun one. After showing flashes of greatness in his rookie season, McDavid came into a second season with the Otters hungry for more and looking to lead his team into the playoffs. The Otters had missed the playoffs entirely in five of the previous eight seasons and hadn't been past the first round in the playoffs since their first OHL championship season 11 years earlier in 2002. In the offseason, McDavid won gold and was the tournament MVP, leading Canada at the World Under-18 Championships. At 16 years old, McDavid was the youngest player in the tournament, but he led all scores with eight goals and 14 assists. He was named tournament MVP and helped Canada to a 3-2 win over the U.S. in the championship game. With the Otters, McDavid scored 28 goals and 99 points in 56 games as a sophomore. He won the William Hanley Trophy awarded to the league's most sportsmanlike player of the year and the Bobby Smith Trophy as the OHL Scholastic Player of the Year. McDavid made Canada's World Junior Team as a 16-year-old and recorded four points in a fourth place finish for Canada. McDavid also led the Otters back to the postseason, helping them to a 52-win season that put them in third place in the OHL's Western Conference standings. They knocked off the Saginaw Spirit in five games in the opening round of the playoffs and then swept past the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds in the second round. They lost to the Guelph Storm in five games in the Western Conference Finals. 
McDavid scored four goals and 19 points in 14 playoff games. With their extended playoff run the previous season, McDavid and the Otters were hungry for much more in his third season. In his final season with the Otters, McDavid suffered a few lows, but enjoyed many more highs along the way. McDavid missed five games early in the season with a broken hand. He healed just in time to join Team Canada, who hosted the World Junior Championships in Montreal and Toronto at Christmas. McDavid tied for the team's scoring lead with 11 points and was named to the tournament All-Star team, helping Canada to a gold medal win with a 5-4 win over Russia in the championship game. It was sweet revenge after losing to Russia in the bronze medal game the previous year in Sweden. It was also Canada's first World Junior gold medal since winning the championship in Ottawa in 2009. Everyone says that the draft year you have your highs and lows and um, and I for sure had uh, you know my peaks and valleys through this year. I mean, um, you know, we got off to a good start, and, um, and then breaking my hand was uh, not a very good time and all that. But um, you know, going through that World Junior process was uh, it was unbelievable. Um, you can't really explain it, to be honest. It's uh, unless you've lived it, you know, you can't really explain the feeling. It's uh, it was so cool, and, and to have the, you know, kind of the whole country come behind you and support you like that, and, and to be able to win the way we did, it was. Uh, um, awesome. After that victory with Team Canada, McDavid was looking forward to leading the Otters to a championship as well. McDavid racked up a career-high 44 goals and 120 points in 47 games and helped the Otters to a 50-win season and second place in the Western Conference. He was busy away from the Otters that season as well. McDavid was the captain of Team Orr and picked up an assist centering a line with Travis Konechny and Timo Meyer that led Team Orr to a 6-0 win over Team Cherry in the CHL Top Prospects game in St. Catharines, Ontario in January. McDavid's Otters teammate Dylan Strom also played in the game, which annually showcases the top prospects for the NHL draft. Future NHL stars like Mitch Marner, Jake DeBrusque, Matthew Barzal, and Thomas Shabbat also played in the game that year. You, know, you look at some of the names who have come through and, and some of the great players who have played in this game, it's uh, you know, pretty pretty you know, humbling to be able to play in this game as well. And It's, it's a long process and it's a long year, and this is just another step to, to that, that, uh, that end goal. McDavid also suited up for the two OHL-hosted games in the CHL Canada-Russia series that serves as a World Junior tune-up between the rival countries. The Otters opened the playoffs with a five-game win over the Sarnia Sting, followed by a sweep of the London Knights to get back to the Western Conference Final for the second straight year. A six-game win over the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds gave the Otters a berth in the OHL Final against the Oshawa Generals. McDavid couldn't power the Otters to the win in the Finals as the Otters lost in five games to Oshawa. McDavid did score 21 goals and 49 points in 20 playoff games and won the Wayne Gretzky 99 award as the MVP of the OHL playoffs. He finished second in all-time OHL playoff scoring behind Justin Papineau who recorded 51 points with the Belleville Bulls in 1999. McDavid, who had points in 18 of the Otters' 20 playoff games, became the second Otters player to win the award after Brad Boys earned the distinction in 2002. McDavid finished his OHL career with an appropriate 97 goals to go along with 188 assists for 285 points in 166 regular season games with the Otters. The Otters captain earned a trio of CHL awards in his final season, including top prospect, Scholastic Player of the Year for the second straight season, and Player of the Year honors. McDavid finished with a league high plus minus rating of plus 60. He also earned the Bobby Smith Trophy as the OHL Scholastic Player for the second straight year. He capped off the 2014-15 regular season by earning the prestigious Red Tilson Trophy awarded to the OHL's Most Outstanding Player of the Year. McDavid finished his junior career as the most decorated player in OHL history, collecting six different major awards. The Edmonton Oilers won the draft lottery and the right to the first overall pick in the 2015 NHL Draft to be held that June in Sunrise, Florida. They surprised no one by grabbing McDavid, who went on to become the Oilers' captain in just his second season. He was the youngest captain in NHL history and went on to win the Hart Memorial Trophy as the NHL's MVP in his sophomore season. Despite being the clear-cut top prospect for the draft, McDavid didn't take anything for granted leading up to the draft. To be honest, I think it was even better than I was expecting. Um, you know, I didn't know exactly how I was going to feel. Um, you know, I wasn't too nervous. I wasn't too. I was just anxious, and and uh, you know, it was just uh, so exciting to hear your name called and go through all that. And um, yeah, it was unbelievable. You know, they're the best three years of my life so far, and uh, you know they're, they're what's led me to this point. The C97 when I flipped that jersey around was uh, you know, special. TSN analyst Bob McKenzie said, Nothing comes easy in the NHL, but if anyone can do it, I think he's capable of making an immediate impact in the National Hockey League. He's got electrifying speed, he'll be able to step right in. Despite the huge accolades that came his way, McDavid took the expectations and his ability to meet them in stride. My expectations myself exceed any of those uh, that are put on me and 
Um, it's it's uh, something that I can't really worry about. I mean, it's uh, I just got to worry about uh, you know making sure that I'm playing my game and and uh, doing all that. Because uh, if I'm meeting my expectations, chances are that uh, I'll meet your guys as well. Former NHL GM Craig Button said, "Make no mistake about it, his impact is immediate." This is a franchise that has been in the doldrums, and Connor McDavid has renewed faith and hope in the Edmonton Oilers fan base. Now that uh, it's finally happened, and you know, I'm an Edmonton Oiler, I couldn't be more proud. The change and the excitement of the fans, and and the long list of great players that have played there, and um, you know, there's so much to be excited about to be an Edmonton Oiler, and um, you know, I'm just uh, just thrilled.